Hi everyone, Aiden here with E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro and seeing how it fits on our 2022 Ford Maverick. This is going to be a hanging style bike rack that holds the bike up here by the frame, hanging down below it. We've got two rubber straps over top the frame, keeping it down into our deep cradles, as well as a third one around the seat post, limiting our side to side movement. That's going to help with bike to bike contact. And although it doesn't eliminate the movement, it does help quite a bit. And because of those deeper cradles, it does eliminate a lot more movement than some other hanging style racks do. Now with this, you're going to be able to carry up to 35 pounds per bike and carry up to four bikes. With a hanging style rack though, if you've got an alternative frame bike or a kid's bike, you're probably going to need to pick up a bike adapter bar. That's going to hang across the top just to make sure that those alternative frames hang level. And with the kids' bikes, it's going to help them fit over this dual arm design, just because these dual arms aren't as friendly to those smaller frame sizes. One thing we do want to avoid entirely, though, is carbon frame bikes. With that, it is going to be a more fragile frame, and hanging by the frame isn't a good idea because that can damage it. The bike rack does have the ability to tilt away, but the bikes have to be unloaded. To do that, we'll just remove the straps, pulling them off of the tabs, two on the top and that one on the side and then you can just lift the bike up and away overall it's not too bad because the arms aren't crazy long so it's fairly easy to get the bike unloaded and with the hitch height on the maverick it's not too high up either now moving down the the mast of the bike rack we've got a pin and retaining clip at the bottom that will release it for tilting and whenever you do release it, it'll stop out at the bottom right there. And you can see why we have to remove the bikes because this does hang down so low. One thing I will point out though with the Maverick is that although it looks like the tailgate fully opens, it is making contact with this top post on the Hitching Post Pro and it's touching right on our handle. So for me, since it is plastic on plastic contact, I'm not worried about anything really getting scratched up but I definitely wouldn't want to put any weight on the tailgate. So if you just need to get something out of the back, it is going to make it a little bit easier. But if you're looking for a place to sit and change your shoes before or after your ride, I wouldn't do it there. Lifting this back up into place, we can reinsert that pin and clip. Sometimes getting the holes perfectly aligned is a little bit tricky, but not too bad. And we can check out some measurements at this point. The first one being our distance added to the back of the vehicle. We're going to be measuring from the bumper to the outer edge of the arms, which in this case is coming in right at 39 inches, which isn't too bad, but we can save some of that space by undoing the pin and retaining clip from the top and folding these arms down. That's going to condense things quite a bit. So if we want to leave this in the hitch between rides, we can. It'll make it a lot less obtrusive for things like parking spaces or maybe even your garage at home, depending on the room you have. This cuts things down to just 17 inches added from the back bumper to the outermost point on the rack. So it is a lot more manageable that way. At the bottom, our ground clearance, it's gonna just come straight out from the shank, giving us a little bit under 15 inches of ground clearance. Now, once you start adding bikes onto the end, that ground clearance may change depending on the size of your bikes, but just keep that in mind. That's what you're working with on the bike rack itself. Moving over to the hitch, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube using the included adapter sleeve. And it does come with an anti-rattle bolt that keeps things pretty solid in the hitch. I would always recommend upgrading to a locking anti-rattle bolt just for that aspect of security. And you can always pair that up with a cable lock that can feed through this integrated loop at the back of the bike rack. But overall, if you're looking for a really good entry-level hanging style bike rack that can carry up to four bikes, the Hitching Post Pro is a pretty solid option. I am a personal fan of the Kurt Premium though, just because I think it's more accommodating to kids' bikes, because those arms narrow together at the end, so you don't necessarily need a bike adapter bar in those situations. So if you need a family bike rack, I'd maybe look into that, plus it has a higher weight capacity. Otherwise, the Hitching Post Pro is going to be a fine fit for the Maverick. Thanks for watching. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. 
This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.